Okay, sorry about that, folks. Hello here, uh, Vampiro0712. Sorry about that, folks. Hello here, uh, Vampiro0712. Yeah, and tonight I'm going to take this video time to talk about my honest review of uh, the recent new WWE game that has come out this week. That came out this week. It's for the ones that ordered the Deluxe and uh, NWO editions, you got it on Tuesday. The ones that ordered Standard Editions, well, you got it uh, yesterday, and... Uh, I'll tell you what, they improved in some areas, but they dropped the ball in a lot. Yeah, it's sad. It is. I don't know where I should start off first, the pros or the cons. And I guess I'll start off with the pros first. Gameplay's great. No doubt about it. I, I enjoy the controls on it and everything. Graphics are beautiful. I heard this one guy on Twitter saying that graphics means everything. It's like, ah, uh, to a point. But uh, you got to mix up with something else in there to make it into the, like, the one uh, you can call it the best game for years down the road. And uh, basically, uh, you know what? The uh, Yeah, graphics are great. I got to admit to that much right now. I mean, they're really good even for the... Uh, I guess the uh, was it outgoing systems basically like the Xbox One and the PS4. No doubt about it. I mean, they fixed a lot on Cray Rust. I noticed they uh, like for example, you uh, you know what? There's not a lot of glitches on Cray Rust. Like for example, you get somebody's foot in a uh, high heel. It does not look like it's going to uh, basically. Uh, was it? Look, doesn't look like a glob of skin coming out. And I'll tell you that much right now. It's like, uh, yeah, the, uh, the, what is it? The Cray Rusts are still not bad. Even though I think uh, there is one flaw in the uh, Cray Rusts. Or, uh, there might be a couple. I guess he's like, go back with preset body types that I remember from the days that you used in, uh, for example, 2K14 or 15 or 16. I remember there was one of those years they used that. And it's like, okay, uh, I could, I guess I can deal with that. Gotcha. Uh, basically, uh, then also, uh, yeah, somebody's telling me about 1948. Uh, basically, I'll tell you what, uh, what else is that? Uh, another thing that's really uh, a little disappointing, I guess you'd say, is uh, you can't even augment the weight of the... Of your uh, career wrestlers anymore. How you doing tonight, Marcus? Yeah, I'm just doing a review of 2K22. A mix of pros and cons. And I'm getting through with the pros right now. I said, great graphics, great gameplay. Gameplay's easy. The showcase mode. Well, yeah, it's really good too. I'll tell you that much with uh, Rey Mysterio. Even though I, you know, it's a shame that everybody, buy, if somebody bought the Supercharger and expect to unlock the guys from the showcase, guess what? They decided not to do that this year, and that baffles me. I don't understand that. But in a showcase, I mean, if you go through it and you can do everything in a timely manner, so great. I mean, uh, so far I went through the first five matches. I unlocked the two Eddies, HBK. JBL and Kane. And then, uh, basically, what else? Uh, I went down the line. I guess you can start anywhere in the showcase matches, but make sure you do it. Make sure you get them all done so you can unlock the, all the objectives for the bonus match, which I don't even know what the hell it is. Uh, basically, uh, I also unlocked the Batista match because I like the I like the Batista match. Yeah, so showcase is fun, definitely. I haven't tried my rise yet, uh, but that should be interesting because that was actually one of the things I was digging in. Uh, that was actually one of the things I was digging in uh, 2002K20. I mean, basically, when you uh, go through that and you uh, try to make your uh, guy into the guy or gal into the best mach wrestling machine there is, and of course, I'm pretty sure they would want you to play that too because. I bet you I went down there would be a lot of uh, stuff. To, there might be quite a few things to unlock. If there is, let me know. If there isn't, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. 
The roster, the roster is uh, pretty decent. I mean, you got out of that whole roster of 187 wrestlers, you still got 36 that were released from the contract. And that came from the day. Gotcha. Okay, so Marcus is still made a Hillary Beach Showcase, and there's a guy I need for MSW that's locked behind the final match. Gotcha. I wonder who, I wonder who that's going to be. Yeah. I might just go through it and maybe uh you wanna let me know what it is? That's fine. I just won't mention it on the air. So I'll spoil it for anybody. On also, uh, you know what? I I guess on DLC they're actually gonna do it right this time. Instead of um like in 2020, what a disappointment that was, I'll admit. And 2K20 when they had nothing but guys in different costumes. You kind of like want to look at that and say, what the hell is that? You know, it's like I was looking for fresh faces. This time, I guess they fixed that mistake and they do in their DLC. They're going to have 28 new uh, characters come out through the variation of five packs, including, I guess, the first one coming out April 26, which is called the Bonsai Pack. Yokozuna, Rikishi, uh, Umaga, that's so surprising. It seems like it's a, like a family relations thing, but they threw two other people in there that would be interesting. Uh, Omos, which I wouldn't doubt that everybody was requesting him, no doubt about it. And then they threw uh, Casey Canizaro, which is, uh, I guess she was, a. Uh, if anybody knows about her, she wrestles in NXT, and before that, if anybody... Uh, Saw her. She was uh, a finalist on America Ninja Warrior. Just to let you know about that. Ah, what else can I say about this? Also, uh, the blood, the blood in the match. You turn on blood in the match. You have somebody bleeding. It looks realistic again. Not, not some stupid red magic marker lying down somebody's friggin' forehead. I mean, I was playing Cesaro against Austin Theory in my GM. And basically, Cesaro busted open Austin Theory. And Austin Theory had blood all over him. He didn't have a red magic marker line. I remember I was so mad about that when I played 2K20. And I had my guy in a match against Matt Riddle. He busted Riddle open, and all you see is this red squiggly line going down his face like it's supposed to be blood. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, that's not how it is. I'll tell you that much right now. The decent, I'll put it this way. I'm not really too much a fan of my GM. I could take or leave my GM. It's really frustrating beyond belief. I'll tell you that much right now. I, I tried that last night. I went with uh, William Regal, who has the uh, power to unlock a, uh, a called Legend Whisperer, where you can use one card and unlock a legend for, if you want to sign a legend, you can sign them for free without uh, it hitting your budget. But I tried to uh, go with people that was not really like McMahon made monsters. I, you know, here, here's an example of the draft I did. I did Damian Priest, Bobby Lashley, Johnny Gargano, Austin Derry, Cesaro, Nakamura, and Riddle. And then I signed like Batista and Drew McIntyre later on in the uh, things there. On the other hand, for the women, I down, I uh, drafted Shotzi, Rayo Ripley, Dana Brooke, Kaylee Ray. I just went with like. Young up-and-comers. But you know what? Here's the problem about it. You try to put them in a promo in the thing and they don't have a high enough popularity, they're not going to do squat for you. I hate to say it. I wonder how the heck you got to do that. Yeah. Williams Playbook? I, I agree. It came out pretty good because Batista, Batista bailed me out of some situations. I'll put it that way. And, uh... You know, I I know I've seen one with Stephanie McMahon where she's got a card that says you can use it towards uh, 
getting your uh, m- money budget tripled after a, a show, basically. But I think there's, uh, yeah, there's like, they got different ones. I'll tell you that much right now. Like, Shane McMahon's got one called Coast to Coast. Pierce and Sonya, they got like, I think uh, Adams was like, uh, he likes intensifying rivalries. Sonya Deville likes to give morale to the locker room. And you know what? You got to play your cards carefully in GM, I notice. It's like, if you don't do something that a wrestler wants, your morale decreases with them. If you do something that you, if the wrestler wants, your morale increases with them. Like, for example, I think I had one situation where uh, Rill was saying that maybe we should get some more better pyrotechniques and everything. And I accidentally pressed, no, nah, I don't think so. Not a chance. And, uh, boy, they said my morale would real, really decrease. I'm like, sitting there, it's like, ah, crap. So, you know what? It's decent. It's not really great. I mean, I'm not really a GM fan. I'll put it that way. Now, the bad and the ugly. The bad and the ugly. Let's see here. Where do I start off? Ah, the first thing that everybody's complaining about. And I guess I'll be one of those people in that boat. No, promos in universal mode. That's, you know, that's sad. No promos in universal mode. What the heck? I mean, I'm not really much a fan of the promo. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a couple. I even have a hard time. If everybody knows my show's on there, I have a hard time even uh, trying to decide who wants a promo. It's a good game, but uh, there's better games that have come out today. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. All right. You know, for heaven's sakes, I hope I hope these guys have a. I hope 2K has some. I hope 2K realizes how wrong this is. I hope they have a patch where they can put the promos back in the universal mode, like they had last year when they had a patch that put the championships back in the game. I hope so. That would be great. Otherwise, my show is going to look... If, if uh, the servers on 19 and 20 have to go, happen to go down anytime soon, it's going to look like a uh, basic episode of Friday Night at the Fights with maybe me improvising backstage interviews of, vo- of just voices. I'm not great like these kids where they basically... Uh, I'm not, yeah, you know, I'm not great as these kids that basically, that uses all this OBS and cutting and editing and doing all kinds of filmmaking. You know, it's like, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not really too, I'm not really too good at that. I'll admit to that much. WWE 2K22 is good, but I will believe that the, uh, the MLB, the show is going to be better. Oh, Definitely. The baseball game is going to be better because, uh, number one, they finally got out of the lockout, which is great. They finally came to some agreement, which is like that. That's Sorry about that. It's just off the subject at the moment, but I'm also an MLB fan. If you ever noticed, a couple of my episodes have been on MLB The Show. I enjoy playing that. Now, get back to WWE. I mean, they could have had some more, uh, they could have had some more great match types. One I was hoping for was an eight-man tornado tag, and unfortunately, I don't have it. It's like, it's like son of a, you know, I wanted to say that, but I just uh, wasn't really mad to say it. But it's like it kind of like tingled me when I seen that. They couldn't. What was wrong with putting an eight-man tornado tag in? And you got eight-man brawl room brawl. What was wrong with fixing a couple of wires in the system, telling it like. Okay, participant A does not attack B, C, and D because that's your teammates. You attack uh, participants E, F, G, and H because they're your opponents. What was wrong? Come on, what was wrong with that? You mean you couldn't do that, guys? Come on. The thing I remember about 2K, I'm going to tell you what, now I'm going to take a break here for a minute on this. 
the thing I remember about 2K was they were a great, they're a great, they're a great company. That got lazy, and I'll say that much because I remember the days when uh, Xbox 360 they made me, they made me freaking happy on Xbox 360. I mean, let's put it this way: you had Mafia 2, you had what the hell was it? Uh, Borderlands was excellent. Bioshock was actually pretty decent too. I mean, they had some good games out there, and they were like king of sports world at one time in the earlier in the earlier builds. I mean, they had the football, baseball, and basketball all together. No, they only have basketball. I mean, you know, it's like they let Sony take over baseball. They let EA just easily trample over them with football. And I actually was a fan of the. Uh, 2K uh, football because I think that's the one that was sponsored by ESPN at the time. But nonetheless, what's some other things? I heard they took out the backstage oh my god moments. Like for example, you can't power bomb. I don't know if you can power bomb anybody on a table anymore or anything like that. I don't know or if there's any way you can do that like on the office table. I seen that on a video recently from this gen gaming. Go check them out on YouTube. Yeah, it's a foundation type game. I'll tell you what. And summary right now, what I'm explaining here right now is that if you like it because of the arcade style, you like arcade style stuff, go for it. Basically, go for it. I mean, it's got great gameplay. It's got great controls, great graphics, and everything else. But if you're a universal, want to play the promoter type, tycoon type thing, yeah, you know what? You may come across a little sadness. You may come across a little sadness right now. That's all I could say. And, you know, I'm going to hope they uh, put patches in here to fix this up. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, and I rem- another thing they took out too is the minor payback. The minor payback. They have the major payback, but now they got just the major payback when you got the four classes, basically. Because I looked at it, it's like, okay, where is the uh, minor payback? Where, like, the Fist of Fury, the Auto Reverse, the, uh, all those other, all those other great ones, basically. The, uh, I guess, Quick Recovery. They don't have those. I still yet to check and see if they have the abilities. I God, I hope they don't take that out. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if this is going to hit different, they better make it hit different with patches. I'm going to tell you that much right now. It would be nice. You know what? They got a loyal bunch of fans, WWE and 2K. They need to work together to make them happy. Don't just, uh, you know what? Not really nice to... Bring out a, uh, I guess uh, what many people are going to be saying, they're, they're up in arms about it, and I don't blame them. I mean, what if they're getting this for their kid, and they want to go get them one big gift? And basically they found out that not everything looks like to be complete in it. I mean, that's who you're disappointing. You're disappointing your fan base. You know, I don't know what happened with 2K with the uh, WWE agreement. I'll tell you that much right now because 14, I loved. 15, it's like, okay, I understand you're doing this as a next gen. You're doing this as a uh, game for all gens. 16 was brilliant. I liked it. I liked the whole Stone Cold Steve Austin thing and all the guys from the Attitude Era and everything else and all, all the great legends in there. Oh, speaking of that, yeah. You should ask for some of the legends to come back. I mean, come on, you took Ricky Steamboat out of the game? I like Steamboat. And there was a lot of my uh, guys on the uh, MSW board that liked the Steamboat move set. I mean, it's just classic. But nonetheless, I mean... What was some other ones out there? The 17 one, which wasn't bad at all. I mean, really great. 18 was good, too. I mean, I enjoyed the Batista and Rob Van Dam bonuses. 
And then the 2K19 was actually really, and I still play it. I love it. I haven't given up on that, even though I got the new one here. And uh, basically, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement. Probably lost the rights, but they couldn't negotiate. I mean, yeah, basically. They could they could they couldn't negotiate it. What's wrong with the negotiation, Vince? Come on, you you don't seem to be good at that anymore, man. You know though, but the thing that hurts the most, I would say, for the creators is the promos in the universal mode because there's a lot of I, I you know, I could take leave promos, but on the other hand, there's a lot of my friends that played this and they like the they like using a promo as a powerful weapon and I can understand it. Yeah, I can understand it. But I'll tell you what, I mean it's it you know what? I'm gonna hope that maybe they find enough sense to use some of the patches to uh basically fix it. I mean, it's a great, it's a good game if you're looking for an arcade style game. I'll go for that. I mean, basically, not bad at all. But if you're gonna to try to go and run a uh, universe on it, yeah, you might want to figure out your options on there because if you're one that depends on the power of the promo, you're not gonna be happy right now. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, uh. You know? But like I said, nonetheless, you know, uh, basically, I like what they're doing with the DLC, basically. Thank God they uh, don't, are not doing different costume-type wrestlers. Thank God they're doing uh, regular, pe uh, more people you can put on the roster. The Umagas, the uh, Rikishis, the Yokozunas, uh, who else they mention on that list? Mr. T. Stacy Keebler, L.A. Knight, Raw Van Dam, British Bulldog, even Doink. Doink's a throwing one. I'm surprised about that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I understand Shockwave. Shockwave and Vince McShane are two examples of people that like the power of the promo, and they do well at it. I don't know, I'm going to admit right now, I think Shockwave even does better than me on there sometimes because I have a, I have a habit of fumbling over my words. As you can hear right here, I, I have a habit of fumbling over my words when uh, I, don't, I don't have everything, like, I don't have notes written down or anything. But you know what, like I said, I, you know what, the ones, I, you know, I'm going to hope, uh, I'm going to hope for the best when I start a full universe mode on uh, 2K22. I'm going to hope that, you know, uh, it gets a little bit better by the time. I hope they learn what they need to do and maybe bring out some patches to fix this. Or else I think people are going to be crying about wanting to keep the 19 and 20 community commemoration servers up. And I wouldn't blame them. I mean, you got to remember, you got to make one for the fans. Don't sit there and uh, take stuff out that you're going to do to make them disgust it. Doink's going to be a best DLC character. It's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that much right now. I think... This is actually the first time Doink has been on a uh, on a WWE 2K game. I'll tell you that much right now. Same with Mr. T. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, but I think who's gonna be the best one? I don't know. I, I'm gonna like LA Knight for sure. I'm gonna definitely like Van Dam. I always do like Van Dam. The Bulldog's always been one of my favorites to use. But one I'm going to be happy with, Umaga. Umaga, Umaga just has a kick, kick a butt play set. I mean, move set to him, basically. 
And Umago's, excuse my bluntness here, is just a badass. No! Yeah, so basically I'm gonna I'm gonna close this out for tonight. Thank you all for listening. Yeah. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope they get some patches in there to fix the essential parts that made this game so great in the first place. Oh, here's another anger thing I'm gonna I'm I'm not too happy about. They should have had Korea's story. Bring that back for good head and sakes. Bring back Korea's story. That was the greatest thing in two K fourteen, I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, but otherwise, it's a, it's a decent risk. But you know what? I would say uh, wait and wait until the price goes down. That's all I'm gonna say. So, with that said, this has been Vamp O Seven One Two talking to you. Have a good night, everybody, and take care.